Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkucci here. All right, so I've got one of my customers that broke off and the line's in the spool. Like he can't find the end or can't get it out. And I was like, that's awesome. And he's like, why? I said, because this is a prime example of why I deal with the hollow core vices doing the solid break. And like I said, I've, I've got a picture of one and I'm, I'm going to post it up. And y'all can see this one actually blew up on me and it was back when I used to use mono top shots on my hollow core. Well, as the braid came off the reel behind the mono, it caught that first guide and it, the mono went one way, the braid stayed right there and the reel blew up on me. So while I was dealing with that reel, you know, Jeff was still out there. We were in the same spot fishing. So in the dark, I was kind of just fumbling about and I got it undone. But it was because I already had the end. So if you don't have the end, it makes it a real difficult to, you know, deal to try to find a way to get it out. So this may take a little while, but it's going to show you how much better the hollow core is compared to solid braid. Because solid braid, it gets in there. I've never been able to find a way to get it out. I mean, it just, and trust me, I've spent hours. You can ask the guys on the pier, they're like, dude, just cut it, just cut it. No, I don't like to cut my braid. And even when it was solid braid, I didn't like to cut that either. But with the hollow core, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna get this undone. So gotta buy, gotta buy. I think I gotta buy. got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line of a color, the whole team. Alright, so I'm having to find the broken end, and I think I may have located it. Because you can see that little bush right there. So that's it. That's a good thing. But yes, it is deep in there. Now, that's the good thing about the hollow core. If you can't get any line to move or budge, what you can do is you can actually cut one of your lines because it is hollow core, you'll be able to splice it back in and fix it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these top braids that I know is over everything else and use that as my starting line because when it's on the top, that means it's the top portion of the braid that actually got locked in there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab one of these and see if I can follow it before I cut it into that mess and see if I can pull out the end. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't, but you at least got some kind of starting point while you do this. So. What I'm doing here is I'm going to spin this spool and I want to get these two lines to meet up on the same one so I don't keep embedding in more line. I just I got to catch it just right. Oh yeah. Okay. This section I have just found is the main line to go underneath. What I gotta do now is figure up these top lines over here. Make sure those don't cross over. So that's a good sign. You just gotta clear this section off of these messed up lines. And seeing that, since that line's a burn, I'm gonna go and clip there too. Because more than likely that's up close to where I need to get it out.
Wow, I've never had to cut this many lines to get a braid out. It's definitely a first. But I am glad I'm here in the shop in a controlled environment that out there when it's all windy and crazy and everything else. So. You really did a number on this one, that's for sure. I hope. <laughs> I'm very bitch. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna mess it up, mess it up right. Yeah. <laughs> I was all mad. So, what I'm trying to do, if I do cut a line, it's because it's gonna have to be cut either way, you know, it's frayed up and stuff like that. So, either it'll be part of the pieces that we keep or part of the stuff we gotta throw away either way. So, go there's one section right there actually that's still good so I'm gonna leave that off to the side got one loss there Two lines across. We get those uncrossed. We may unlock this right now. We'll see. What I did was, was, when I was digging in there, I could see a real tight line. And I was hoping that was the inner wrap that's holding it because when the line breaks off, it don't just wrap the top one, it'll do like two or three wraps and lock it in. So it's really hard to get to. So let's see if that one was the one I was looking for. And you hit the right one and you'll unravel all of this. And that's only, I mean, like I said, this is a really, really bad situation, but I'm a fighter. <laughs> Hard-headed like that. Ooh, look. You can see an end right there. It's right here. I don't know if y'all can catch that. It's right there near the tip of my thumb. Can you see it in there? Okay. It's a little split end right there. That's probably the one that's holding this whole deal together. See if I can work it in backwards.
because now you can see how these cut lines are actually crossed right there. So they're actually holding each other back. This one's, this one's the main line going back that way, which is actually good because like a long section like this, I need to find both ends of it. And actually this, those layers may have had it to where everything's down here on the side right here. And these layers, you may need to take a few of them off just so it'll untighten it and it won't be all locked up on you. All these lines that were stuck earlier are now starting to loosen up. Like I said, I'm saying there's that other line right there that's stuck. So we may have figured it out now, finally. But you gotta be careful. Don't just go pulling the line out real quick because you can lock it back up again and now it'll be even further down. All right guys, I pulled out one of those pieces and it finally cleared it up on the reel. However, I am noticing that the line is slack on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna downspool it all the way, but just to give an idea of all the line that came off the reel, it's all of that right there and behind the counter. There you go. So this is a good thing about the holocorn. This is why we love to use it. And I'm gonna show you right now. do is I'm going to downspool it, tighten the line before putting, putting the other pieces on it because it's just going to add more line to the spool. So. pound blocks so I'll be getting those over here pretty, pretty soon too so. yeah. he's like you, re you really need that much I'm like yeah I'm already burning, burning through this one it's like jeez so, like, so he said he'll call me in the next day or two <laughs> which is fine because that'll be how it takes to finish off this 11,000 pounds Alright guys, so again, if this had been solid braid, I wouldn't have wasted my time doing that. I would have just cut it and saved, saved us a hard, about an hour of work, you know what I mean? But now, since it is hollow core, let's do this. So with this reel, we have learned that don't 
use your reel line straight up to break the line off or if you're stuck you want to grab something else or wrap it around the handle or something else other than straight spooling it to the reel because this is how bad it can really get where your line is locked up on the spool and you may not get it out or you may not want to. All right, so we're, we're gonna lose about 20 feet, probably 25 foot, somewhere around there. And it's four small pieces because there's two other ones over there and they got frayed up on this. Uh, during this whole process. However, now what we can do is we can add the top shot and he'll be good to go. So let's see how much we get on there. There we go. So we added on 38 more yards. Not bad.